Marklish Gaming here bringing you a video on Assassin's Creed Valhalla Dawn of Ragnarok. This is all of the working exploits, glitches, plus there's tips and tricks all coming up right after this. Don't forget you can support the channel just by putting a thumbs up, like and subscribe. So this is the unlimited materials exploit. So first off, make your way to any blacksmith. It's very, very simple. And then all you have to do is press triangle to interact with him and start speaking to him. Go down, scroll down to C shop. And you see this enchant gear, enchant gear, you go down to downgrade gear. And we're going to be working on the predator bow here. So I'm going to downgrade that predator bow. So let's just do so. There we go. So I've downgraded that. Now I want to exit, completely exit from him and then leave the conversation with him. And you'll see pop up on the right hand side, iron ore, leather, titanium. That's exactly what we want. Now bring up your menu, go to your save, save the game manually. So let's just save that. Perfect. And then what we want to do is we want to load on that manual save that we just made upon coming back into the world. Yeah, once we're back into the world, we'll have that divine gear would have actually turned back into divine gear, which is absolutely amazing. So let's just speak to him again, just to show you that it is still there. So let's go down to C shop. Uh, let's go to downgrade gear. Let's scroll down. Just using that predator boat. Have a look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Brilliant. We could do it again and again, as many times as you like. Just leave the conversation. Save. Reload. Perfect. Come back. Unlimited materials. A channel favourite, unlimited arrows, is the next exploit we're going to show you. So you just get onto your ship, any ship, any location. Works in Island, works in Ragnarok, works absolutely everywhere. So I've tried that, it's perfect. Works on River Rage 2, so you can do it. So just take your ship out and then you can fire arrows. At the start of this, I had zero arrows in my inventory uh, because when you shoot the arrows on, the, on your boat, it doesn't actually use your arrows, which is perfect. So I'm just going to shoot a couple of arrows into the ground here and then tell my guys go on take us back in you almost like it let's take us back in you should be able to see the arrows very visually on the floor as well once we're there once we come back in so you should be able to see yeah there you are you can see them all there and i can pick up the arrows now if i open up my boat you can see that i've got 15 arrows there so it has worked you can get them anywhere in the world next trick is unlock barred doors now this is very very simple just slash at the barred door and then you will be able to open it now for this to work what you do is you must have a spear in your right hand and a spear in your left hand which i'll show you that i have now and then you just go and you slash and i'm just pressing l1 to do a simple a simple quick attack ba 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 bang and then you can hit the in the right place and you've unlocked it flying papers now this works with a lot of them in ragnarok i haven't come across any flying papers but it is still in the game if you haven't come across it you just need the ability blinding rush you can see on there once you've got blinding rush it, what it does is it activates time to be a lot lot slower it really slows down time so you can see i've activated it now i'm running all the way up to it as soon as i jump on this tent the paper doesn't move and it stays still these could be a pain in the ass to chase all around the map so it's much much simpler to do for all you newies out there stone walls it could be a pain in the backside to go and find those little red vases with flame on them so instead of doing that we have a number of ways that we can get in behind the stone doors so you've got this one ability that we've got that i'm showing you on the screen now and all you have to do is get your arrow activate that ability and then shoot it shoulder bash also works with this as well so you no longer have to look for those red barrels perfect re-roll shops so this works on any shop works in shops in ragnarok as well which i'm just going to show you now all you do is you access um, any shopkeeper you save the game beforehand now it's imperative you must have only just leveled up once you have leveled up then you go to the shopkeeper you save before you engage in a conversation with that shopkeeper very very important steps now let's see his inventory once we scroll down it will show us what runes he has so what's he's got here he's got the great rune of protection he's got another rune here another one there look at that fire guard rune and a great rune of force so now i'm going to exit um from the conversation with him and then what i'm going to do is simply reload that previous save that save that you made before you actually spoke to him so once we've loaded that save up we'll go and talk to him again we'll see what he's got so that save is loaded up let's go and have another conversation with this little dwarf 
Come on, buddy. Show us what you got. Simply go to C Shop, scroll down, and look at that. Completely different runes in there as well. That one's different. The flanking rune, shell rune, Thor's rune, and that. So it still works. Perfect. Buy a level up. Don't forget this. This is a very, very important tip for everyone, especially the new people out there. Once you have leveled up, you simply go to any shop and you can purchase a scroll of knowledge. This will help you through the game grow faster and faster. It's the fastest way uh, to add that little extra level upon doing all the grinding that you want to do in the game. 